Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Ubisoft Connect in 2024. So today, we're enhancing the security of your Ubisoft Connect account by enabling the two-factor authentication. With, of course, 2FA, you will add an extra layer of protection to your Ubisoft account, safeguarding your gaming progress and personal information. So join me as I guide you through the process of enabling the 2FA on Ubisoft Connect in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open the Ubisoft Connect on your PC. To do so, of course, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial step. So here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section and type UB. So Ubisoft connects and hits the enter button. This would take you here. So make sure to click on this first link, which is ubisoftconnects.com. Click on it. And you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen website right away. So if you have an account, basically just go and click on login to log into your account. As an example in here. And make sure to log into your account using your Facebook account, Xbox account, Switch account, uh, PlayStation account or even normally through the email and password. If you don't have an account, you can always go and click on create an account to create a new account. To create it, as you can see, you'll be able to create it using just normal way. So for me, I'll just go here to login and try to log in with my Facebook account. Let's see if it will allow it. So continue. Because I don't know, I had I had an account, but I didn't know which with which which account I created it. So yeah, this is just like a link. So let's see, we'll have to enter things manually. Let's let's just go and do it as an example. So I'm trying here to create my account to enable the two FA on it. I'll have to confirm that email. Why not? So two 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 at gmail dot com. I should create here a password make sure it's strong and okay that is like the ubisoft's username so i'll just have it as omics date of birth i'll just do to february 2022 2002022 so make sure that you agree to the terms of use privacy uh, policy and etc and you can check this option if you want to get like the content and the promotional emails, if you don't, don't check it and click on create a Ubisoft account. This is not available, so I'll just add the 369. Create a Ubisoft account. So please complete the CAPTCHA. I did not see that CAPTCHA. So bicycle. We'll go with all those. Click on next. Traffic lights. That's, that's it. Crosswalk. It's going to be those one. Traffic lights, and I don't know if those should be included. Yeah, traffic lights again, like that. Bus, seems like it has a lot of crap chop, but no problem. So, there is, okay, one bus left. I don't think there is a bus in here. So, yeah, no bus, click on verify. Bicycle again. Traffic lights again. Okay, that's one of the captures that take a lot of time. Motorcycle. Okay, this one not. This one should be added. Motorcycle again. Let's go and do that, do that, and that, and even that. Motorcycle. Oh yeah, create a Ubisoft account. Seems like this capture is going to be a problem. So let me just finish it, and I'm coming back to you. So once I finish it, of course, I'll be here. They'll tell me that they send me a code to my email. So I'll go to my email provider. And here is it. 363615. Uh, so 363-615. I guess it's this one. Yeah. So click on create an account. And of course, no need to this anymore. Just close it. Leave. Thank you. And here, as you can see, now I can go to my dashboard. And as you can see, I'll find my account right here. So what I will need to do first of all is simply go and access the settings of my account. Do so. Basically, just go and click on your icon here at the top right corner. As you can see right here. So click on it. 
then scroll down to account management and go and click on that this will open a new tab for you you'll find yourself here so make sure to go and access its security and here as you can see we'll have to enable this two-step verification or 2FA which is the two-factor authentication so to activate this of course as you can see it will reach a higher level of security so make sure to click on activate and here as you can see you can use email or authenticator app we want authenticator app because it's the 2FA as you can see your security codes will be generated by an authenticator app on your smartphone so click on choose and as you can see you can add your phone number why in case or as a backup code of course in case of losing access to your authenticator app so you will have to add your phone number so let me just go and add mine and i'm coming back into you so once i added my number as you can see it will be added here and even if you click again on activate example authenticator app choose as you can see they will send me an email so this and the, they will send me an email so i'll just go here to my email or gmail provider so the two steps verification as you can see to start simply click here so i'll just go and click here to enable the 2fa and once i click on it as you can see what i'll need to do first of all is download an authenticator app and this video i'm actually using of course on my phone you cannot see my phone but i'm using like google authenticator so for you you can use other like apps if you have some so do whatever it suits you on Google Authenticator in the right uh, bottom right option I'll find the plus button I'll click on it and click on scan a QR code you can even uh, enter a setup key if you click in, on it in here to enter it manually for me I don't want to so I'll just scan the QR code scan the code right there I'll get a code right here I'll have to enter that code like right here okay it will change in two seconds so I'll have to just wait until it changed yeah it changed now so I'll just enter the new one click on submit and yeah as you can see two-step verification with an authenticator app is done so now you'll be logged out so we can finalize the process let's it's fine let me just go and log out and i'll have to go and log in again so i'll just go and log in again into my account without any problems and probably they will ask me for my code again let me just check that okay yeah they're asking me for the code on my authenticator app so i'll just enter the new one because it changed it changed i guess every 20 seconds and yeah click on login and we'll be logged in into our account as you can see with no problems so that's going to be it for me today you successfully enabled the two-factor authentication uh of course in 2024 uh, of course this will give give you an extra layer of security so if you have any questions or the specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and goodbye.